Hey, welcome to The Peaceful Home. I'm Teresa Elling and this is part nine of how to decorate a room from start to finish. And today we're focusing on linens. Now this includes really any soft surfaces, fabrics that are used for bedding, couches, even rugs and curtains. And although I covered those in a separate video, you do need to take into account the color and pattern that a rug or curtains would bring into the space. I'm going to get started with the largest thing in any bedroom, and that is the bed. times do you have to walk back and forth until you know your bedding's even? I think that's pretty good. I love these beautiful soft sheets in white with a little bit of gray pattern throughout. Make sure you put your top sheet to face pattern to pattern with your bottom sheet. That way when you fold over the top you see the pattern on top of your quilt or comforter and then when you slip into bed the sheets should match. I really like to do a generous uh, sized fold up here of the top sheet. I think it makes your bed look really inviting. Traditionally, pillows are placed with the open end out. And of course, you can stack them horizontally. I like to lean them up because when I first get into bed, I'm always sitting up and reading. I couldn't be happier with these pillow shams. I sewed them out of a lace uh, cutwork tablecloth and I did an envelope back and I did film the tutorial and when that video is up, I will link it below, but I'm just thrilled with how these came out. Those of you that saw my inspiration video, this was my one inspiration piece for the whole room. And my plan is to make a pillow with a ruffled edge, but I could not get to it before I needed to film and edit this video. So you'll see it in the reveal, but for now I'm just going to throw it over the pillow form and set it here so I kind of have an idea of what this color is going to look like on the bed. I really loved how the bed looked in all white, but if I do put that pillow there, I want to make sure to introduce the pink somewhere else, definitely in the room, and at least three times. We'll talk about the rule of three later, but um, even on the bed, I think would be great. Um, this is one of the few things that I purchased new. I haven't taken the tags off yet because I'm not sure if I'm going to love it, but I can kind of try it here and see what I think against the pillow. Another option is to put it across the bed. Now I'm going to turn my attention over to the couch. My original plan were soft pinks and sage greens. And I've got some greens in the pillows that I sewed. And I found this kind of a little more mauve color. I'm not quite sure if it's the right color pink, but I've got it as an option. I got this thinking that the floral and the quilted aspect of it would make it a perfect throw pillow in here, but I just feel like it's different enough that it doesn't quite fit. So I actually took the pillow out and it's what I used for this guy. I have a couple of white pillows. I have two of these color block pillows and I'm not sure what I think about these, but I think the color is really good. And this was something new I got. I found these at Target. I actually had to drive quite a ways to get a second one, and I fell in love with these. If I did not already have that inspiration piece, this easily could have been my inspiration piece for the room. And it might have shifted me a little more towards blue, but this does mean I'm going to incorporate some blue in the room because I definitely want to keep these pillows. I'm just going to start playing around with these on the couch. Just has a modern look to it, which isn't quite what 
what I want in this room. So these guys are gonna go. I like this mauve one next to this pillow better. It pulls some of the pink out of it. My eye definitely is pulled to this mauve. I feel like if I'm gonna use that strong of a color, I need to have something else over here. And so maybe I'm gonna pull that out and try my two green pillows. I think I'm down to two choices and that would be this arrangement right here or this one. I'll keep playing with it a bit and make a final decision by the time of the reveal. Another touch of pink on here, or maybe a little more of a solid in the sage green might be a good addition on the couch. The last bit of fabric I need to consider is for a drapery that's going to hang in the closet. I'm just going to have then pulled to each side and kind of pulled back. I think it'll just add a nice bit of softness. I have three choices. One is this pattern in kind of a pink. I'm not sure what I think of it next to the beige wall. The other option is this kind of sagey green, but almost brown khaki color maybe. And this would be the other option to hang here. Probably looks a little better with the beige and kind of brings in, I feel like this has a really kind of old world feel, a cottage calico. It just kind of feels old fashioned to me. And then lastly would be to do solid white. Now my curtains in here are white. The board and batten is white. My bedding is white. So I know this would look great, and it would look nice with the trim, but I don't know if it's too much white or not. So actually, if you can comment in the next couple of weeks before my reveal, do you like the pink, the green khaki color, or the white for the curtains? Um, I'll have to make a decision about that. And meanwhile, I think I will try to hunt down possibly a green throw just to bring in a little more of the green that is in the dresser, maybe put it on the couch to kind of have your eye connect those colors together. My last video before the reveal is what to do with surfaces. What's gonna go on the writing desk and on the dresser? And I'm going to show you how to use the rule of three and how to place your last bits of color and impact in the room to pull it all together. Thanks so much for joining me today on The Peaceful Home and part nine, linens in my guest room. If this content is interesting to you, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you won't miss a single video. Have a great day and thanks for watching.